Hello, hello! Welcome back to another episode on Prowl's Patreon Realm, Bedrock and Minecraft. And I've just gotten done with a over nine day of K session here at the mob farm. So I've gotten uh, 106 levels. I've gotten myself quite a bit of gunpowder, so I am very happy with it. Also got to myself a bit of iron from it. So everything's looking good. But I went ahead and started recording now because someone has left some has lost some of her used bubble gum. Apparently they are over here admiring my mob farm because it is it, it is beautiful as you can tell from down here. But they lost her bubble gum and it ended up in my inventory, how I know not. But I feel like I need to go return this used bubble gum to its rightful owner. Thing is, I don't think asking is the socially accepted I don't think it is socially accepted to just ask in a public chat if anyone lost their use, but if anyone lost their bubble gum. So I'm just gonna be the I'm gonna be the polite person and the non I don't know I don't know what word I'm looking for there, but I'm gonna go drop this off in, in some people's mailboxes. I've got five pieces. Maybe I can find the right person. So hopefully. At least one piece will get back to this rightful owner, and I'll have done the world, and the community, and this realm a favor. So I'm going to go do that real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I was heading over, right over there to the post office, but to get over there, I have to go through my shop. And, I mean, I can smell I can smell diamonds, just about. I, I've, I have to check my shops, I'm sorry, I just have to check, see if I've sold anything. Nope. Yes, I sold one set of rockets. That's wonderful. I'm gonna run. Wally bought the shop from me, by the way. He he spent. I sold it to Wally for one diamond. And the reason it was one diamond was because there's an ender chest in here. So ender chests are on this realm are one diamond a piece over at Relic's General Store. So I saw. I was gonna give just give it to him, but then I thought, you know what? He has in their chest, it's worth at least one diamond. So I sold it back to him, he's turned it into a wool shop. He's selling these for one diamond a stack, same price as Simba's. Or, is that TJ's? Is it Tim, T, TJ's shop? Or is it... The Colors. It's a moon store, I'm not, I'm not sure who exactly owned it. Uh, I'm not going to check the potion shop. It, well, I'm going to check one. One, because this one is one of us ever sells. No. No one's wanted by no one's bought any night vision. So, anyways, so I've checked a rocket shop. I'm gonna run over here, see if Relic and I have sold any Prismarine. Nope. So nothing there. Let's check the hashtag Infinity Shop, which, by the way, I will be coming back to this shop in today's episode. But, but, checking if there's any sales, sales in here. Yes, I just made 38 diamonds off of infinity bows. What's, what's this all about? Cause it's gonna break hashtag mending. Is that a play on buy one get one free? Nah, we, we can't we can't have this. Whoever put this up, I have, I, have, I think I know who, who put this up. In fact, I am positive I know who put this up. Put this up. Anyways, guys, this sign here. It is a blemish sign. It is a unclean sign. It is not purified. So anyway, so that deal takes care of that. And uh, sold two infinity bows. You can tell this realm likes hashtag infinity. And everyone should really. Because hashtag infinity is infinitely better than mending. Anyways, used bubble gum. First off, naturally. I blame Simba. She's a kind person who would leave. He would just forget her used bubble gum. I've, I think I think she's the kind of person who leaves it on the bottom of chairs and stuff, which is gross, by the way. But I I blame Simba. So one piece goes in there. I don't blame her mom or her dad really. I don't think Wally would do it. Pushy, few, they're good. Juan would Ebony Warrior do it? Mm, I don't think so. Oh. Hey Simba. Hello Sim. I hate when I go to type, but no, 
And now she's left. Yeah, she must have saw I was on. We got Titch. None of these are taken. What's even in these? Got some cooked chicken in the saddle. I could use some cooked chicken. Let's see, who else? There's Relic, Mori, Logan, Rox. I, I think Rox. Rox feels like he would be the kind of person to leave something lying around. Logan, I mean, I know Logan's real old, so he might be, his, his I don't think his mind is, is, is what it used to be. So he, he might have just misplaced it along with his teeth somewhere else. That'd be gross if you found some bubble gum. Some use bubble gum with a tooth in it, some dentures in it. Especially if they're saber dentures. Now, Rafe and Relic, I believe these two could also potentially be, have left their used bubble gum. They are both making videos, you have YouTube channels, so uh, they have a lot on their mind. So I wouldn't put a pass on to be thinking about recording and uh, they just have a bubblegum aside so they can talk more clearly. And then just leave it in my inventory. So I'm going to leave each of them one piece of used bubblegum. So I'm sure, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got, I found whoever lost their bubblegum. I don't know which one of these people it was, but I'm sure one of them found his way to this right to, to the right person. So I am happy. I've done the community a favor. Anyways, I'm going to be, now that I am over that distraction, from a distraction, how, how does that even work? I'm going to check the rest of my shops. So see, so we got the golden carrot shop. We've told two more carrots. Or four stacks of carrots, so it's two diamonds. So that was two. You saw both diamonds in there. So I'm going to put both diamonds in here for Logan. So once after a little while, we'll go ahead and split the difference. Since we are sharing the shop, splitting the shop's profits 50 50. Then. Oh, goodness, what is this? This, a, this better not be a rocket. Flying High Flight Shop owned by Rafe Industries. I don't believe this. What is he even selling in here? What is he selling this for? Tier 3 Rockets with Shulker. 13 Diamonds Payment in Chest. Hmm, Tier 1 Rockets, 9 Diamonds per Shulker. 1 Diamond Bucket. Shulker included. What is she doing here? So let's see, 13 diamonds, so 9 diamonds. I'm going to figure out the math later and figure out what, to, what and figure out a way to undercut him even. So anyways, I'm going to come up back over here before I was distracted by that distraction. That's all it is. Just one big distraction. Let's see, my other shop, lever shop. I don't, I doubt I've sold anything here. Nope. And the last one was... What is my last shop? Do I even have another shop? Yes, the chorus shop. No, the end shop. Not a chorus shop. It has chorus fruit around here. All right, so let's see. It's right in here. Simba's talking about whatever useless shop over there. Let's only guess I did. Someone has bought. Someone decided to buy shulker boxes, one diamond each. That is not right. Supposed to be three diamonds each. Dragon heads, please, please, please. And nothing else has sold today. So anyways, guys, so I'm gonna cut here and catch you all in the next clip. Alright, guys, so I'm over here at the hashtag infinity shop, which I might say is hashtag the best shop. But the decorations for this thing are not quite up to par in my book. Um, I know you're thinking this this shop is probably the best looking shop you've, you've ever laid your eye on, but no. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if I can get some help to make this shop look any better. So I'm gonna fly over here to the bounty building and why is my name here? I mean, I need 
a name anyways. E with a bone in it. So I don't know if that's about, but I'm gonna put it on say per and put it in the middle because it's supposed to be in the middle. And I'm gonna put down simply, let's see. All right, that looks good. Make hashtag infinity shop look awesome. Now I need the diamonds. Um, is there not a shulker box, uh, ender chest in here? Simba, you're stacking. Ender chest. I can just use diamonds I've that, that, that made. Was I've made. So, make that hashtag affinity shop look awesome. I'm gonna put in a bounty of mm, 25 diamonds. So, that bounty is now up. If anyone goes over there, makes me a shop, or makes the shop look awesome, they get the 25 diamonds. So, that bounty is now up. Hopefully, someone will get on that and just make a absolutely beautiful shop. So, I'm looking forward to that. And now, there's something else I wanted to do. I can't think of it right of a sentence, so I'm going to get on. Once I remember, I'll bring y'all back. Alright guys, I still can't remember what I was gonna do, but I did. I I just saw a shop over there. Rafe put it up, and he thinks he's gonna sell fire or crockets as well. So you know, there's competition now in the market, which I am perfectly fine with. There, we do not we do not discourage competition on this on on this realm. But I'm gonna come over here, and I'm going to. I think I'm going to get rid of the flight duration run rockets. And I'm going to switch over to the tier 3 rockets. So I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to put a huge sale on tier 1 rockets. I'm going to probably do... Why not firework rockets? Who put a not firework rocket in there? Show yourself. So anyways, I think I'm going to do a large sale over here. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the tier 3 rockets. And I will be back once I do that. Alright guys, so I am over here crafting myself up a whole bunch of tier 3 rockets. I figured I'd show you all how to do this in case you didn't know how to make tier 3 rockets. You had to manually craft them, they're not over here in the crafting menu. Uh, these are only tier 1 rockets you can craft uh, using the crafting menu. But over here in your in the manual area, in the manual slot you can put in, you go ahead and craft them up. And it is manual, it is tedious, and you know, I don't really mind it right now. I'm sure it is not going to be long whatsoever before this gets very tiring indeed. So I'm going to keep crafting this up, and that should be one shulker box of tier 3 rockets, so that is good. Get, start for, get started on this next row. I'm going to grab myself another stack of paper and over nine stacks of gunpowder. So I'm going to keep doing this and be right back. All right, guys. So I've put in all the tier three rockets. I have reduced the price to one diamond for three stacks. That is the equivalent of one diamond for three stacks of gunpowder. That is insane. Unheard of as far as I know on Bedrock Edition. So I remember, I remember on Truly Bedrock, when Slack Lizard was selling gunpowder for one diamond per sixteen gunpowder. One diamond for sixteen. I'm selling it for one diamond per three stacks of it. So that shows you just how quickly Bedrock is advancing technical wise. We're getting better and better farms all the time. So I'm looking forward to what else we can invent here on Bedrock Edition. Hashtag Bedrock Rocks. Anyways, I have done that. I've reduced the price that much. And then over here, I'm doing a super sale. One diamond for nine stacks of tier one rockets. I don't think these are going to be a big seller anymore. I'm just going to get rid of them. Maybe help a community someone out while I'm at it. So I'm going to be doing some of that. Now, my rockets are still slightly more expensive than a Rave's shop. If you include the shulker. If, if you don't want a shulker, if you're like Relic, you have all the shulkers you need. You don't need another shulker. You don't want to buy a shulker. 
my shop my shop is a better choice for those kind of customers if you want to if you want to shulker rave shop is a little cheaper i think well, i'm gonna be dropping the prices even more later we're gonna see this this here is some competition going on so i'm looking forward to it and uh, yeah more of that will probably be hopefully in the next episode but for right now i'm putting it right there and putting it on the back burner for today's episode but anyways i'm gonna get on to the next thing which i still cannot remember what it was gonna be and i just remember what it was yep i'm off because that's something to do with this here logo mm -hmm. all right guys i am over here at prowl's ever map area it still has prowl's face on here get a area look again for you so it still has prowl's face on it he is looking cool as always in those sunglasses so you might see some of his dirt around scattered around here that is on purpose because i'm gonna be putting some footprints on this because you know here in minecraft we don't we aren't really the cleanest people we just walk we walk around we get in the mud i mean we walk around the nav we get in the lava sometimes i mean who knows how this world can looks like it can be quite nasty and we just walk straight into our houses without wiping our feet so i figured i should probably make a doormat or something for my for my houses and my shops to uh keep dirt out so i don't have to worry about sanitation con conditions so i'm gonna make a doormat and i figured i'd come over here to the map area prowl's face has not been wiped off but that is okay it'll add some detail so I'm going to get work on this and I'll catch you all when I finished the when I finished this project here. All right guys, it is done. So I have put friend footprints all over Prowl's face. So I mean I love it. It is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to be able to put these in all my shops and places so that I'll be able to tell people to wipe their feet when they walk in. So this is doing the community a great big favor. We're gonna have less dirty floors now, better sanit more sanitary conditions. So it is wonderful. Anyway, so with that project done, I think I'm gonna go on to the next project and uh, I will catch you all once I get started on it. All right guys, so I am here in the shopping district ready to place down all of these prowl, all of these prowl doormats. So I'm doing the realm and the community a service we're gonna have a cleaner society i'm gonna place one here and it needs to be looking not upside down that way yep that way i can i can ride my feet on it so i feel cleaner already i'm gonna go gonna go around do this for all my shops and i'm thinking that i might charge people to use these fancy doormats I think I might charge something like, I don't know, a diamond? Yeah, diamond sounds pretty good. I think I'll charge people like one diamond. I'll put it over here in my uh, custom map shop. This is Ebony Warriors in mine. Put it right here. What makes you wipe your feet as you walk in? Proud, I'm a proud doormat. I'm going to go and put proud doormat over there. Come over here, and I'm going to leave in quite a few. Um, actually, I'll do that later. I'll think about what I'm going to do exactly in there, because I'm not going to sell these per se. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to come on over here, and I'm going to finish up and be right back. All right, guys. So I have seven Prowl doormats to be two diamonds apiece. So just come in here, grab yourself a single Prowl doormat, make some copies using the empty maps and then you can set the, these maps on your doorstep that you wipe, uh, wipe your feet will make the realm a cleaner place so this is awesome and uh, yeah I'm gonna move on to the next clip and I'll catch you there also no your eyes do not deceive you there is an elephant in the shopping district I blame Simba, but yeah, that's a thing. Alright guys, so 
with an elephant that is in the room discussed. I'm going to call it an episode now. I'm sitting here at the uh, Zen Pond that Relic made. Right here in the shopping district, relax at the Zen Garden. That's what I'm doing. I've had a long, hard day. Lots of shopping and stuff. Lots of business activities. So I'm going to sit back, relax a little bit. In fact, I'm going to pull out my fishing rod so that I can maybe catch some of these Zen fish. Let's see in here and here. Where, where's my shift fishing rod out? Right here. Got a saber hook right here. And yeah, I'm going to be able to fish now. So I am happy. A fish already biting. This is a wonderful pond. A saddle. Anyways, guys, on that note of a saddle, caught a salmon, anyways. But on that note, I'm going to call it today's episode. So I'll catch y'all next time and once I'm done fishing.